Today, we are going to be hailing back to a simpler time. There won't be any pancakes. There's not going to be any exploding resin. We are going to do a simple dip it. Those of you who have been with me for a while should remember this. We used this to make an Oreo cake stand, and I also used it to make a giant magnifying glass. It is a silicone pizza pan. Gonna give it a little hit of mold release, and then we can put it to the side. Today we're gonna be working with these really cool clock parts. These were sent to me in February of 2017 by a fan of the show. Uh, Scott Edwards, I think. He says that uh, he uses some of the larger parts when he cannibalizes old watches and clocks, but he doesn't have a need for the smaller ones, and I think they're amazing. So we're gonna start with a clock. Uh, I know, but I think it's gonna look really cool. Let's get some resin. The base of the clock is going to be, I think 16 ounces of resin will be more than enough. Pretty close to perfect. Um, I want the first layer to be black so that these gears really stand out. I love the way it looks. She bent down and turned around and gave me a wink. She said, I'm gonna mix it up right here in the sink. It smelled like turpentine and looked like Indian ink. I held my nose, I closed my eyes. I took a drink. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna try to get three pours out of this. I want a base pour, I want to put on the gears, I want to do a second pour, anyway, you'll see. I don't need to, I don't need to spell it all out right now. I don't even know why I'm doing that. Oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Now the one downside about this is that any little speck of dust is going to be magnified in there. It doesn't quite fit, but it should be okay as long as nobody comes out here and messes with it. So we're gonna come back in a few hours and start placing. There I go again, I'm telling you exactly what's gonna happen. You don't need to know. This isn't PBS. All right, that looks pretty good. We've got a nice solid base there. Cool, and so I think what I'll do is I'll start with 12 ounces of resin, and then I'll just start putting the gears in the resin and see how it goes. Actually, 12 seems like the right amount. Um, normally, I would really worry about getting bubbles trapped underneath. But since we've got a black base here, we're never going to see it, which is really nice. Look at this one. I like that one. I don't know what its function is inside a watch. Some sort of chassis, maybe, to hold the other parts. I really like the way it looks. Ooh, there's some super tiny ones. I love it. Texture, size, all of it matters when you're when you're doing this. Pop some more of these bubbles. Came back out to just check on the surface, and a lot of these have started floating. The lighter ones have floated up high, and some of the heavier ones have sunk down to the bottom. And at first, that made me super nervous, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more that's a good thing. I think it's gonna create a really 3D effect here. They started, oh. some pieces started floating, and other pieces started sinking. I like that. It's fun though, right? Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm doing my best to like clutter it. I just want it like, stuffed full of bits. But I like how it's different layers. Yeah, that wasn't... Intentional. <laughs> no, but it's working. It's really cool. Every time I think I'm done, I find another spot that, that needs more. That you want to put something in. The problem is the resin's getting really thick. So it might stop. I might mess things up if I keep going. I need a frappuccino. All right, I'm all done. Let's go get something to drink. So it's had a time to cure. We're gonna do one more 
layer and this layer is just going to be the top coat to completely seal all those pieces and I'm going to be using 12 ounces of resin even adding another layer really gives it more depth that's really striking I, I hope that depth comes across on the camera and I'll keep coming out every 20 minutes or so and hitting it with some more flame to just sort of pop any bubbles as they rise to the surface I have about 45 minutes until this resin begins to cure and probably 12 hours before it's completely hardened oh no oh no oh no oh no it's sticking oh 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 no oh no <laughs> that's not the plan that's not even close to the plan that's not even close to the plan how much destruction this causes I Okay, oh, it's starting to release. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect. Oh my. I don't think God. we're gonna use that pizza pan again. <laughs> you know what it is? No. I bought this yeah. pizza pan and I've never used it for pizza <laughs> and this stupid thing just committed suicide right here in the shop. <laughs> it's all, I'm a pizza pan, you lunatic. <laughs> Stop pouring Stop resin! Stop putting resin in me! Trying to shave this off. It's... I mean... I suppose the phrase stuck like glue seems appropriate. Though nothing is supposed to stick to silicone. This... <laughs> this used to be a beautiful project that was, in my mind, completely finished. I didn't think I could get it mounted on the lathe and not damage it. And then I just, I just switched to 140. 20 grit sandpaper. I got a pretty deep gouge here. The razor blade slipped and got a gouge on one side. So that's where we're at. It's not pretty anymore. And we're gonna have to figure out how to repair this section. And we're gonna have to figure out what to do with the side. So I'm going to clear my bench and we can take another stab at this. Is that the smallest amount of resin you've ever mixed? You know, it might be. I didn't even have a cup to measure it in, so I had to steal it from the medicine cabinet. Make sure to throw it away. Either we're going to fix this or we're gonna make it worse. How many times do you look at the side of a clock? <laughs> uh, including this time? Yeah. One. I'd like to once again thank Squarespace for continuing to support this channel by sponsoring this video. With Squarespace, you can create a beautiful website with their all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. And with their unique domain experience, it is fully transparent and simple to use. Squarespace is used by a wide range of creative people, including musicians, designers, artists, and more. Plus, they offer award-winning 24 by 7 support should you run into any issues. Simply go to squarespace.com forward slash Peter Brown to get your free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Make your next move with Squarespace. So here it is completed. All I did was drill a hole in the center and then I added a clock movement to it. The truth is, I would have been so much happier had I not had the issue, but it is what it is. And the patch actually came out looking pretty good. The best method for repairing this would have been a brand new pour over the top. And it would have been a two or three day cure. And the truth of the matter is, I just don't have two or three days right now. Because I'm getting on a plane on Thursday and flying to Birmingham, England. Was that, was that a good transition? I'm going to be at Maker Central on May 5th and 6th. Um, I'm going to be on a panel with a couple other makers doing a Q&A on Saturday and I'm going to be giving a demo on Sunday. And then also in May on the 19th and 20th I will be down at Bay Area Makers Fair. It's really fun. I love going to Makers Fair. And this year I've been invited to be on a panel and so Steve Ramsey and I will actually be answering questions down there. Uh, and I think they're also going to have a Q&A portion. 
If you're coming down to Maker's Fair, I'd love to meet you. So I'm going to put the information for Maker's Central and for Maker's Fair down in the description, both of those happening in May. May is going to be a busy month, so if you don't hear from me, just know I'll be back in June.